2. The Story It was a lovely sunny morning in Melly Island. Guybrush was asleep in bed. His wife, the governor, calls up to him. Guybrush, are you ever getting up? Yeah, down two ticks. Mankind seek good. Hello again. I saw you nine years ago when the Chuck was around. What's happening? Chuck and Amina brother called him up and he wants lives. He heard you had um, destroyed his brother so he's come to get us. This time I've got a crew to go to defeat him. I'm a pirate. Can I join? Three trolls. You have to swim to the island about a thousand meters away and find the sword which we, you will use if you succeed. Um, you have to earn 500 pieces of aid to get into the football team and beat the robot to penalty shootout and to um, 
beat Wiggles the Blunt Pencil Master in a fight. Good luck. The pub. Come on, guy, brush your beer's getting flat. Hey, mate. The pub. Oh, hi, hello. What's wrong? Guy, brush, where are you? Brush. What's wrong? It's, it's Liz. She's gone. What? What do you mean, gone? Vanished to thin air, kidnapped to run away. Kidnapped, I think. I was downstairs talking to Carla and we heard a noise. The guy came running down the stairs. He said there was a ghost and he said he was a friend of yours. He took Liz and he said that he was trying to get his revenge or something. The guy's at home with Carla at the moment. Oh no. Man kindly Max got my daughter. I've got to get her. Please can I be in the crew. Rules are rules and rules are not meant to be broken. Do the trials quickly. What rules? What crew? Guybrush, please explain. I'm worried sick about our daughter while you're just messing about with trials again. OK, listen carefully. I destroyed the chuck right? And that seemed like, well, the happier, happy ending. But little did I know Lebuck had a stronger, very stronger brother called Lebuck, and he's got a fearsome crew to come to get his revenge on us. That's why he's taken Liz. To get into the crew, I have to pass three trials. And that's what I'm going to do now. I've got to do it now, OK? Bye. Don't leave us again, Guy Brush. Guy and I would like to come with you. I'd rather be worried sick about you and Liz. I'm sure we could come in handy at some time, and it'd be quite a good going on the ship. If I don't do the trials, none of us will be going. Look, if I do them, I'll have a word with Banco. See if he can do it. I've okay. got to go now. Bye, Kay. Okay. Good luck. Thanks, I need it. The rules, sir, have to swim. Guybrush walks quickly down the winding road, ignoring the marvellous scenery until he reaches his home. Carla is comforting Guy. Hi Carla. Hi. I need a big favour. I'm doing these three trials to go and save Liz to get into this crew. And I need to know how to swim. Can you teach me please? Sure, let's get right down to it. Um, well, I haven't got a swimming costume. Oh, it doesn't matter. I want the two in the pool. Okay. Jump in the pool. Come on, guy. Brush, use the float. Lift your legs and swim. with his ears popping, wanders back down the winding path in the direction of the beach. When he arrives at the beach, Mancombe Seepgood is there to judge that he does it properly. Over to the water's edge. One, two, two and a third, 
Two and a half. Oh, here goes. Three. Guybrush jumps in and starts to swim Deathbrush is about 750 metres out. He finds that something is pulling his feet back. He looks under the water and finds a, a clump of crisp, shiny, green seaweed. He takes a deep breath and plunges underneath the water. He starts swimming downwards and yanks desperately at the piece of green seaweed until it comes off. He then starts to sink. Which means... I'm not sinking. It's all under control. At last, Guybrush swims desperately up to the top of the water, where he gradually makes it, swimming as fast as he can, over towards the island. When he gets to the island, he clambers up and flumps down and falls fast asleep. Guybrush is awoken by a hand on his shoulder. Hmm. Oh, get up, mate. You've got to find the sword. Since you're on it, I'll give you a clue. I'm not allowed to, but what the heck. Ready? Right. Yeah. You will forget it, but you might not. What? Is that it? Yep. Here's the spade. Thanks. You'll need it. Right. Guybrush wanders off looking at the brightly coloured plants and at the lovely yellow bananas. You will forget it, but you won't. You will. You won't. You won't. Oh, God. I know. You know, loves bananas. I'll get her one of these juicy, lovely bananas. Take it home for her. I haven't forgotten her. That's it. Forgotten. The plant. Forget me not. I've got to find it and dig it up. Garbage puts the juicy yellow banana into his pocket. Guybrush hunts everywhere for the sword, or for forget-me-not, until he gets so exhausted he thinks he's, a, he's about to sit down, when he suddenly sees a tiger. God. Where, kitty? Guybrush runs and clambers up the nearest tree. Guybrush falls fast asleep. When he awakes, he finds he is sitting on a bird's nest. He looks underneath and finds that he has been sitting on a squashed egg. He looks down at the lovely view below, and there he sees it. In the clear, on its own, a big forget-me-not. Yippee, I found it! Garbus jumps out of the tree, nearly breaking in his leg. Garbus scrambles to his feet and runs frantically to where the big forget-me-not is. He starts digging desperately. Clunk. He hit something hard. I found it! I found the sword! <laughs> Guybrush climbs into the helicopter and joins Kilts and the pilot. Hi Guybrush! Hi. Brilliant! I knew you could do it. I knew you could guess it from my clue. Here, yeah, here's a jumper. It's pretty cold up here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Hey, look over there. There's a windmill. And over there is a white horse laying down in a field. Cool. It's really interesting being I've never been in an aeroplane or helicopter before. Ooh. As the plane lands, Guy Bush is still taken aback by the scenery, so he has to be worked back to reality by kilts.
Come on, guy, bush. Oh, time to get off. Cool, it's really good. Guy Bush gets pushed by Kilt out of the helicopter to where mankind awaits. As Guy Bush walks towards mankind, he grabs Kilt's scarf and starts to polish his sword with it. Aye, my neck's cold now. Sorry. cold, isn't it? Oh. See you past the first trial. Well done, Guybrush. Knew you'd do it. Only two more trials to go then, eh, mate? <laughs> Good old winter swine. so you can find a way to earn yourself 500 pieces of it before the crew have to set off to fight Nimuk. Can I use, um, Manco, can I have use your bicycle please so I can get to the village quickly? Condition guy, Bosch. Can I have that lovely yellow banana you've got in your pocket? But it's for it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Here. I'll leave your bike with the cook at the pub, okay? Well, where is it then? Here goes. Garbush rides as fast as he can towards the village. On the way, he notices some lovely flowers on the path beside his mountain bike wheel. He gets off. Oh, good Never get used to those things. He picks some lovely flowers love and places them into the basket. Off gets back on the bike and rides off to his house. Oh, 
storm coming over. Galbash soon arrives to his house. Oh. Really over here in case it starts raining. A bit windy up there now. Turn the light off. Where's the battery? Garbush starts to write a letter to Elaine. To Elaine, love, Guy. Bush. Four kisses. Hot. An arrow. Here we go. He then places the flowers and the note on the front doorstep. For Elaine to find. Bike and rides off to the pub. Where Cook will soon be waiting to take the bike from him. Goldbrush walks over towards the pub where Cook is waiting to look after his bike. Hi Cook, could you look after this um, banker's bike for me? It's very valu valuable and I said I'd give it to you. Is that alright? Thanks a lot mate. Bye. Guybrush spends the night on a bench that he finds. As morning breaks, Guybrush awakes. Guybrush decides to go to the circus tent to see if the Spaghetti Brothers have an act for him to test. Well, it was a nasty old storm last night. Oh, wet. Have a good trick. As Guybrush walks towards the circus, you can hear faint music coming from the tent. Multicoloured tent, he finds the spaghetti brothers arguing as usual. <laughs> 